Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Western Desert, south of Rhino Horn Ridge, building a stone brick house. Sometimes I like to experiment with new ideas, and today is one of those days, as I'll be using, dare I say it, treehouse foundations. However, we won't be placing them on any trees, fortunately, so I can make an exemption for my usual treehouse foundation ban on the channel today. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout and save yourself a huge chunk of cash on a great service. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. As I mentioned, I'll be using Treehouse Foundations to create a unique shape for the build. Treehouse Foundations are basically just single tier circular foundations, so you can use them easily to construct a tower or something similar with less blocks than would be required with regular wedge foundations, but you can also use them to make some fairly unique build shapes. The wood they're made from is also naturally quite warm in tone, so it's a good interior floor material. Next for the walls. As I already mentioned, I chose to use stone brick for the walls. In my opinion, stone brick is a fairly underrated material choice, as it allows for a sturdy look on the outside of the build whilst also allowing a warm and welcoming interior, due to the wooden reinforcements on the interior of the walls. I tried to mix a good amount of windows into the build to get some natural light into the build as much as possible, then building the first floor two tiles high, sectioning off a veranda at the front of the build, and then using stone brick wedges to create a balcony above the ground floor. I then built the first floor walls two tiles high again. Next for the roof. This is one of those roofs where you just have to sort of follow the flow and place roof pieces wherever possible, which is fine and works quite well for a unique build shape like this. I covered the walls with stone brick ceilings, which worked fine aside from one section that lacked stability. Therefore, I built the roof up as much as possible and then went back inside the build to construct the catwalks that I'll be placing the stairs on. I tried a couple of different designs, but in the end opted for a double staircase, which I would then later reduce down into a single staircase in the furnishing phase, which works pretty well for this build design. I then used pillars from the ceiling down to give stability to the missing section, allowing me to place the final roof pieces. Also, I didn't realise until now, you can't actually place pillars on treehouse foundations directly, instead you have to run them from above to then go down into the treehouse foundation. Just another reason to almost never use them again.
I then went on to add decorative accents to the roofs, and a small room at the back of the build which will be the bedroom. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the exterior with wall lanterns and the interior with hanging braziers, which works well to capture the warm atmosphere I was aiming for. I've also used a variety of mods to decorate it inside. Entering the build, the ground floor is fairly cluttered but not in a clumsy fashion. Each area of the build is a distinct section that offers something of importance to the resident, including a kitchen, lounge, dining table, bathroom with a tub and chamber pot and hygiene facilities, we're really in the 21st century now, and a small bedroom at the back of the structure. Heading upstairs, there's a small balcony here that takes advantage of the impressive view towards the volcano and over Sepameru. And there we have it, a solo stone brick house in the exiled lands, south of Rhino Horn Ridge. Thanks for watching, occasionally I like to do builds to experiment with different things, and this is one of those where I wanted to experiment with the dreaded treehouse foundations, kind of just to see how I could work them into future builds and what I could get away with whilst using them. So hopefully you liked it. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. 
If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, and Sergeant Swede. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.